Hey everyone, my name is Justin Dean and I'm the creator of Church Request, an all-in-one request management system that we've built specifically for churches. And I wanted to walk you through the system, let you see it, uh, so you can choose for yourself whether this will work for your church. Um, you know, and we've heard from many of our users uh, that this has just rocked their world and changed their workflow for the better. So I know you're going to love it too. But let me walk you through uh, the system so you can see for yourself. Basically, what we've built, all-in-one system for requests, whether that's communications requests, events requests, uh, design requests, whatever you want to use the system for. Uh, you can create your own forms, people can submit requests, and then you can manage those requests uh, once they come in. And because everything is kept within one tool, even the ability to message each other and upload files, Church Requests becomes the ultimate tool to keep everything organized and on track. So no more requests as you walk through the halls uh, and get bombarded by all the ministry leaders submitting everything or wanting to know when their stage announcement or Facebook ad is uh, going out. No more tracking requests uh, down in your email box and messages. Everything's kept within one system for you to easily manage and uh, look back on. We've also created this system to work on mobile, iPads, desktop, uh, whatever device you want to use. It's super easy to use, so you can use it on the go and uh, in between meetings as well. So let's walk through the system. This, what you see is the request dashboard. As requests come in, they'll be added here to your dashboard. You can see in this demo account, we've got some requests here that have come through. This one here for a uh, high school camp. Uh, has come through. We can edit that request. We can send messages about it. We can archive it. And if you click here, you can view it and see the details uh, about the request here. Basically, this came from the students department and they, of course, want uh, every deliverable possible to promote their high school camp. So you can take a look at this and go, man, you know what? They've got a budget of zero and uh, they want everything to promote this. Why don't we go ahead and send this over to Pastor Steven for approval? You can click here and send it to an approval manager, select their name, and uh, click update. Now this will send an email off to Pastor Steven saying, hey, can you approve this uh, request? It'll give him all the details. He can then sign in and uh, state the status to uh, approved or denied, uh, whatever he wants. He can add a message, he can ask questions, uh, or he can add an explanation for what status uh, he chose. And that'll be all updated here, and it'll notify the original requester when that status has changed as well. So let's assume Pastor Steven uh, really loves high school kids. This is approved. And as the communication director, you need to start uh, managing this request. So you can go here and you can add, uh, you know, different uh, to do's that uh, may be needed. Um, you know, create social designs. You can choose the due date for that. You can assign it to a specific user if needed. You can add uh, additional notes as well that's automatically saved as you enter it now whoever you assign will, will be notified that they have a task assigned to them within this request they can come in do the work they can upload uh, the, their work if needed they can mark this off as complete and everyone's part of that progress as it as it goes through the system so everyone knows the status of their list um, that's, uh, that's the gist of being able to, to edit and manage a request here. Um, you can also send messages if you click here. Um, you know, does this really need a stage announcement? We'll just send off that question to everybody. You click there. It sent everyone who uh, is involved in this request. In this case, it would be the Pastor Stephen who we assigned it to and the original person who uh, submitted it. And when they reply to that message, it'll all be updated here within the system. And when it's all done, you can also archive the message, uh, the request there, and it's always there. You can filter it by archived. It's always there for you to look upon. Maybe even next year when they are asking for uh, deliverables for their high school camp, you can look back on this and say, hey, remember, here's the messages. Here's everything you submitted. Um, here's the messages that we had so you can know um, you know duplicate work now let's go to the forms I'll show you how those are created we start you off with five uh, templates here if you want to use them you can a lot of people find them helpful uh, you can just click use this template 
and it adds it down here to your form section. These are your forms. You can edit these. You can create a new um, uh, and design a custom form, or you can use ours as is. You can see here, this is what they look like. This is the locations template. So if it's good to go as is, you would just grab the URL for that, distribute that to your staff. And I recommend making this a policy within your church. Hey, all requests need to come through uh, this form. You can have multiple forms, set it up however you want. But I would make that policy. Work with your senior leaders, pastors to say, this is the only way requests come in. That way nothing's lost, everything can be tracked, and uh, everyone can check up on the requests as well. And uh, if that's an issue, trying to roll something out like that church-wide, I would suggest starting with one department. Like maybe choose your your youth ministry, work with uh, the people in that department and say, hey, let's try this out for a month. Use this form to submit all your requests and we'll be able to track and see how this works for us. And then you have a case study that you can roll out to the rest of the church to say, hey, this worked really great for the youth department. Let's roll this out church-wide. This is policy now. Send everything through. Uh, this form people will catch on very quickly and because it's so easy to use um, and they can track and see everything and finally get an update on their request without uh, you know bugging you every day they're gonna love it that's how you uh, distribute that form if you wanted to edit one of these forms you've, you've got to unpublish it first you go here and click on publish that way if someone's form while you're editing it doesn't mess anything up back here click edit then you can just drag and drop uh, all sorts of fields in here and use it however you want. Set it up you want. You can change um, all the wording, you know, rearrange the sound. The form is yours to build custom however you want. Just click save and publish. And that uh, the same URL of the same form. And that will uh, for everyone to use. And uh, that's how you create forms, you, depending on your account. You as many forms as, as you want and distribute those uh, however you want. Now let's move on to users. There's a, a couple different user types within the system. Uh, your account, you're going to set up a church admin user. They have full access to everything. They can edit the billing information. They can delete the account and uh, have full management over it. So if you're just like a one person communications department, um, you, you are probably fine staying as that user. Some churches like to make that user the um, you know accounting manager, somebody who manages things like that. And in that case, you go and create an account manager user uh, for those who need to actually manage the requests that are coming in. So an account manager will have full access to the system other than billing and being able to delete the account. Uh, and they'll be able to manage all the requests that come in uh, from anybody in, in all forms. So you uh, you probably only need one. Uh, some churches, they have like a communications, they also have an events manager. So you may have a, a form specifically for events. In that case, the events manager would be an account manager and have access over that as well. The approval manager, like I showed you, those are just users who approve requests that are assigned to them. So they can only see the ones that are assigned to them. They can approve them. They can send messages, things like that. Great for a pastor or a manager who just wants to be able to approve them. They don't really need to manage the whole system and be overwhelmed by that. And then this uses uh, a role that you're going to assign to basically everyone in your church or organization who needs to submit requests. So everyone will get a requester user account. That way they can fill out the form, send the request. They'll be able to see only the requests that they've submitted. They'll be able to edit them, send messages, keep up to date uh, on their status that way. So you set up a request for as many people as you need who want to submit the forms. So uh, that is it for the system. We've made it very, very easy uh, for you to use. We're improving it all the time with monthly updates and we love our users and take feedback very, very seriously. So if there's a feature that you're wanting and that we don't have yet, just let us know. And that uh, we built this tool basically because I had this when I was uh, running communications for a church and I love hearing from all of us how it's just changing uh, their lives really. I mean, it's very, very easy for them. It's very useful for them. I hope you'll try it out. I know it'll be cool for you to. Any questions, reach out to us, and uh, we're happy to help. Thanks for stopping by.